Hello, I'm Nitin Chaudhary from the Cisco TAC VPN team. Today, I will demonstrate how to block web portal access to RA VPN on FTD managed by FMC using FlexConfig. This configuration will help us prevent any user access to your RA VPN via web browser. Let's begin by navigating to the FlexConfig object section. Go to Objects, then Object Management and select FlexConfig followed by FlexConfig object. Here, you will create a FlexConfig object using the keepout command within the global web VPN configuration. You have the option to customize the message that appears after the keepout command and configure additional deployment options as shown. In this case, we'll use 503 service not available as our custom message. Next, Create another flexconfig object to negate the previous configuration by including the no keyword before the keepout command. Now proceed to the device section, then flexconfig where you can either create a new policy or modify an existing one. In this case, we'll create a new policy and assign the FTD device to it. Once the policy is established, you should see the flexconfig object you created on the left pane of the page. Add the flexconfig object to the policy by selecting it and clicking the arrow button. Be sure to save the changes to the policy. Afterward, preview the configuration by clicking the preview config button and selecting the appropriate device. Upon verification, proceed with deployment by clicking deploy. You will encounter a generic warning about potential incorrect configurations, but you can confidently proceed by selecting proceed with deploy. Once the deployment is complete, the configured message will be displayed when the RAVPN interface is accessed via a browser using the respective IP or FQDN. Now, let's see how to revert this configuration. To revert this configuration and restore web portal access to the RAVPN, start by navigating to the policy where the current flexconfig object with the keyboard command is applied. Remove the existing flexconfig object by clicking the delete icon next to it. Then add the negating flexconfig object created initially. Save the changes and preview the updated configuration. Once verified, deploy the configuration to the FTD device. You will see a general warning again about potential configuration issues, but you can Proceed safely with the deployment. Once deployed, the RA VPN web portal should be accessible again. That concludes today's demonstration. If you encounter any issue, please feel free to open a tag case for further assistance. Thank you for watching.